Good turn by Ray. Alex Ray, the substitute, scores the goal that surely takes Wolves to a Cardiff final. Hello and welcome back to the old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and it's another update for the Wolves. Last night, Daz Hale of WM tweeted that he's been told to expect quite a few comings and goings over the next week or so at Wolves, including a possible surprise departure. Now, I've been thinking recently and having a look at Twitter and things like that as to who might the surprise departure be. My first thought, of course, was Costa but that wouldn't be a surprise departure because, of course, he's our star player. He's the one who's going to be likely to move on somewhere. So I had a quick look around on the internet and apparently, uh, according to Spanish website Gol Digital, Real Betis are interested in signing Nua Dico for one and a half million pounds. Uh, in the article, it calls him one of the great promises of African football. It could be seen the end of Nua Dico at Wolves. He didn't have a very good season last year, but of course it was quite disrupted because of his injury from the previous season. So he's had two seasons at a vital part of his career that have been massively affected by the horrific injury that he received uh, last season. It could also be Danny Barth, this shock departure. He has got a lot of competition now for his place with Roderick Miranda and Ryan Bennett coming in. Corny Hawes as well, performing well, is suggesting that he's going to really struggle to get in the team next season. He's also just been followed by Britta Sombolonga now on Twitter. So I don't know whether to read into it that that's Brit coming to Wolves or is it Danny going to Forest? It's 50-50. Talking about Brit Sombolonga, I had a message yesterday from one of my subscribers to tell me that he'd heard unconfirmed reports. He said, take this with a big pinch of salt. But apparently a deal for Brit Sombolonga to come to Wolves is getting closer. I don't know how true that is. But apparently it's the, the sticking point is the final fee with Nottingham Forest. So, of course, it's a deal that we all want to go through. But I don't know realistically whether it is actually something that's going to happen at the moment. One player that we won't be signing is John O'Shea. He's decided that he's going to stay at Sunderland. Although not too disappointed about this. I think I'm happy with the centre-backs that we've brought in. And with his age as well, he'll have experience. But I think we need to be looking at the future in the next three or four years and bringing a centre-back in who's going to be able to take us forward in that respect. Carrying on with the theme of centre-backs, Ethan Ebanks Landell looks like he's going to be going to Sheffield United for definite. That deal is getting closer and I imagine that while the players are back in pre-season training next week that that will go through. Now, over the last couple of weeks I've been talking about a 20 goal a season man and Wolves need to get somebody who's going to be that for us. But perhaps it's something that's a thing of the past as there were only four players last season who managed to score 20 goals or more in the Championship. Uh, they were Chris Wood... Glenn Murray, Tammy Abraham and Dwight Gale. Two of those got promoted. One of those was on loan from Chelsea and the other was pretty one-dimensional in uh, Chris Wood. We saw him on Easter Monday being pretty ineffective against two big centre-backs because Leeds only had one method. But still, he scored 27 goals last season. I think we need to be looking abroad, really, for this star player. Now, we've, seen Ke we've heard Kevin Thelwell talking about the fact that they've been scouting in Germany quite a bit, uh, in particular the Bundesliga 2, the second tier in Germany. So perhaps that's somewhere that we can be expecting to look at for our next strike. We don't want to see somebody who's coming in with a record of scoring 20 goals in 70 matches or something, which has been what we've had for the last few years. I expect that we're going to be signing an, an, another two or three players in the next week or so. I imagine as well there'll be two or three players leaving uh, as Nuno gets to work with his squad for the first time tomorrow morning. Thank you very much for watching today's update. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and share the video as well with some of your Wolves mates. And let's grow this channel even further. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check back later in the week for further updates because it's going to start kicking off soon. See you next time. Bye-bye.